My freshman year at Maryland, I decided to pledge Sigma Chi, a fraternity. I figured, why not? And living in that frat bubble, we were pretty clueless about the real world. Taking a record that's already made with the help of the mix boy used in the crossfade rhythm. Greek life, video games, that we understood. But things like local politics and pro sports, well, there are some things you just never see coming. But if you think this is a story about frat life in the 80s, don't worry, it's not. Now, this is a story about NFL history. And on that snowy night in 1984, we found ourselves right in the middle of it. Hey, is uh, Bobby in there? I need to speak to him. Hey, you work for Mayflower Transit? Yeah, part-time, why? I need you and your buddies to help me out. So a little move? One tonight, and it's urgent. How many of us are you gonna need? All of you guys. Look, I'll pay 10 bucks an hour. I guess it's not that urgent. There's a sorority next door if you wanna. Come on, come on, I'll, I'll pay 20 bucks an hour. Yeah, I think we can make that work. Hey, boys, we got a job. If you're confused at this point, imagine what we felt. So where are we going anyways? Don't ask any questions. I'd been working at Mayflower Moving for a couple of years, and trust me, things were run very professionally. Let's go, on the bus. But let's just say, this job felt a little different. What are we doing? We're moving somebody. Who? I don't know. Are you sure this is legal? To be honest, I didn't know what I had gotten us all into. Where are we going? What are we moving? We had no clue. But there we were, on a bus in the middle of the night. And there was no turning back. Gentlemen, do not ask any questions. You are standing in the center of the Baltimore Colts football headquarters. And by sunrise, everything in this building needs to disappear. Everything? Everything! Can we ask where it's all going? You guys keep breaking his first rule. Don't ask questions. Just start packing. Come on, it ain't gonna pack itself. I said let's go! Come on, Move we're it. rush! I think I'm paying you for it. All right, boys, you know the drill. Everything goes. Papers, And just like that, it all started to make sense. We had all heard the rumors. The old guy that owned the Colts had a beef with the mayor of Baltimore. He wanted a new stadium, and the city wasn't going to build him one. But here's where it gets interesting. Sir, I think we're going to pull this off. We found a good group of guys that are doing a great job for us. Who'd you find? A fraternity. You hired a bunch of kids to move my franchise? Let's go! But why sneak out in the middle of the night? Well, the governor of Maryland had plans to take over the team through something called eminent domain. And that takeover was happening the next morning. It didn't take a poli-sci major to know that the Colts had to get out and quick. But the question was, where are they going? This stuff too? Yes, everything goes. It was just that there's personal things in here. It's okay, they're gonna get it when they get to Indianapolis. Indianapolis? Come on, we're in a rush, let's go. What's the problem? That too? Is it nailed down? I don't think so. Good. Pack it up, come on, let's go! It was the craziest all-nighter we had ever pulled. An entire team's legacy stuffed into 13 Mayflower moving trucks, headed to Indianapolis, never to return. the trophy case that told of the Colts' tradition, and they were bound for Indianapolis. The only thing left is a memory. When I pledged a frat, I mostly expected it would be what you see in the movies. And the movies can be heartbreaking well sometimes, you know? But it wasn't needed. The only reaction of the few diehard fans who came to watch was sadness. Heartbroken's a good word. But did I ever think I could break the hearts of an entire city in one night? No. Thank you. 
Hey, what about all the Baltimore fans? You just gonna leave us like that? Let's go. When I answered the door that night, I could have never known I would find myself in the middle of one of the most infamous moments in NFL history. And sure, Baltimore eventually got itself a new team and a couple more championships. But there's no way we could have known that then. Sneak out under cover of night, which really irritates me no end. Yo! You never forget the Colts. Like I said, there are some things you just never see coming. Not even Robert Ursay can take that away from the city of Baltimore.